We are building a model railroad. We have started by unpacking and extending an ICE starter set. We already have added a lot of accessories like tracks, turnouts and turnout lanterns. We placed a train driver in the driver's seat in the front and passengers inside our ICE. Now it is time for some landscaping and especially for the houses. First we only place the houses for test purposes. What I have here is the plan of my model railroad. Uh, that's what came with the packaging of this easy track system by Noch. So that's my base plate. And there are the wood boards, which are drawn in the plan. And here you can see my track plan with all the Merklin tracks. Here are the one, two, three tracks uh, that are the curved ones. And the turnouts are also drawn in. That is my basis for planning. Now I can plan the next steps and then I can use a pen and draw my dream landscape. That's simply board drawing. It might take two to three hours or it might take years, but it can be a matter of 10 minutes as well. That depends on how your ideas are and how fast you want to do your model railroad building on your model railroad system. Now, this will be the area for the train station. So at this point, we will have the train station and we need a couple of platforms that can be placed here. This area here would be a good spot for a tunnel. This area could be a bridge or we simply expand the tunnel further. So the train gets out of the tunnel here and also get out here. We will see. Um, we could leave this area in the shade. You would not be able to see this area. I draw this in here roughly sketched. Here it goes down with the descent. So we could build another tunnel. Uh, we could do it like that with a backside thereby. This whole area would be covered. That way we create room for a mountain, maybe a small mountain hut. As you can see, roughly sketched. Now here's room for our village. Here at the side by our railroad route going along here. We draw a small road here. The road could lead down there and disappear at the side, vanishing underneath the railroad. Uh, you could do it that way or you could do it you could do it that way or you may as well choose differently. And then we could plan where we want our houses to stand. It does look nice on the paper, maybe not if I do the drawing, but it might be a lot easier if you think about what kind of houses you like and want on your model railroad system and what kind of models there are. I started to look for train stations and what kind of train station would fit to our model railway. I found one I like from Faller and got it. It's the train station of the Bavarian village Weissenbach. It fits nicely in terms of size and it is a very typical Bavarian train station. I can plan it here at this point. I would say it fits perfectly. Up there we have a mountain landscape. So I thought to myself a farm would look nice there. Something like a mountain hut. I've chosen this from Kibri. It would look very nice on the mountain, but it might be a little bit too big. Otherwise it would also look good in this area. That way we can create a more rural landscape there. Another option for the small farm, if it fits in terms of size, would be here at the side. So you can see it better. Right here could also be a good spot for the farm, depending on how much room is left there. Let's not plan too big. We will place it here for now. It does look good there. Maybe you are more in the mood for a town, maybe a small village. Then we could think about replacing the farm with a butcher's shop or a bakery. It has a little restaurant at the side and then we could let the street pass right by here. The smaller the model railroad, the less buildings you want to use. But you decide yourself for the complete decor, the many details that you can place all around. And that's the nice thing about a small model railroad. You don't build thousands of buildings, you rather build a few, but you furnish them with many little details. What else do we have? Um, here is a farmhouse with an inn. You could combine it with the one we just looked at, the butcher's shop with the restaurant in a southern German setting. This kind of farmhouse with an inn, we could plan on that. This could also go over there. Maybe build a smaller mountain, keep it lean and make some room for this tavern. 
It does look like the tavern in the Spessart. Another idea would be this old farmhouse with a shed and a barn on the side. This would be a possibility. We have all options. The only limiting factor is space and the question where which item can go now. That's why I have recognized a bit. I am talking about sub-construction panels because our houses need a foundation. The manufacturer Bush sells something very useful. Bush is a manufacturer for model building equipment that are honeycomb building plates, perfect for model building projects. They are thick and very sturdy. They almost feel like a wood board relating to the stability. Similar to the wood boards we used here, but they can easily be cut with a craft knife. We can place the board here and draw our building ground plans on it. In the next step, we can plan what else we want to have around. Let's imagine our base plate has the size of this transformer. We simply draw around it and at the same time, we will cut around in a large circle to create room for the landscape. Maybe I want a driveway here, in our case for the farmhouse. I might want to have some chickens here or maybe a meadow right here at the site. That can easily be done with the big honeycomb boards since we can simply cut it out with a craft knife. We take a knife, a cutter like this, and we can easily cut it with great stability. And afterwards we can use hot glue and glue it to such base plates or pillars. I can also use more of the honeycomb board and build a box shaped structure in a 90 degree angle. Now that's an example of the possibility and I would like to start with that. I want to unpack the train station and maybe a small house. I choose the Kibri building and place it right here to check the structure and how it would look like. So let's open this. Let's have a look at what's inside this set. This is typical for all manufacturers. The board is crooked. You can see the injection molding frames. We take them apart and separate the pieces. We will have a closer look at that in one of our next videos. I take them out very carefully. They all have numbers. Now this looks exactly like a driveway. We put this aside. Uh, that's the roof and this looks like a base plate. What else is in there? Oh, that looks like a hell lot of tiny little DIY fun. <laughs> There's a lot in there. It will take some time to build this. That's a relaxing task for in between. Uh, we put this in back. We put this back in there. That way I can get a hold of the instruction manual. Uh, we put the box over there. Let's read what it says. That's a drawing for five, four, three, two, one, that's the start. Number one, in chronological order, you would first start with these base plates, then the windows on page five, it will be connected. Uh, here you can see it. Now we have to check if the base plate exists or not. I do not, I did not see one so far. Apparently this is not the base plate. This is the cover for the windows at the side. This side on the this side and on the other side. That's what it looks like. So in this case, the roof can be used as orientation. While I was talking, I found the base plate. That's it. Let's check one more time. That's the roof. The height should fit. Yes, it does. This would be the side roof, I guess right here. That's what it is supposed to look like. We can compare it to the other one. I have just unpacked it and before I set it up, let's check the picture. It kind of looks like it. Not quite, the part belongs right here. Now we can roughly draw around it. This is just preliminary work to see for what we have space. And we can place where we create a nice landscape. And now we draw our farmhouse on the board. There's my driveway. Let's use up as little space as possible. I want to have some room for a meadow, maybe even a bit more. I want room for trees and a forest. The same back there. Now that's the space I need. I want the same free space on the other side. Measure it roughly by rule of thumb. Let's place it there. And if I have this much distance, let's use a ruler. Then we leave eight centimeters. We do it exact now. Then we will leave eight centimeter here as well and 
on all four sides. That's easy to remember. So eight centimeter and eight centimeter that fits and we will leave eight centimeter on this side. That paper should be about eight centimeter. Well, that is still correct. Yes, that's about right. We don't need 100% accuracy, but more accuracy is of course better. Uh, we will leave eight centimeter here as well. Let's go over to this side. So that fits pretty much. You see, all by the rule of thumb, we don't need 100%. The nice thing is we do not want an exact chessboard-like model railroad. We can allow it like this. That's why I mark this area now about here and roughly here. And also here and this spot as well. Draw a line here and draw it over there. That's how we do it now. It will be not be 100% accurate. It's enough if we sketch it in like this and done. It's not an exact straight line. Uh, we can pack up the farmhouse again, place it at the side and make some room for cutting. Please choose a flat surface. Do not cut it on the model railroad. That's not such a good idea. Let's look for a flat surface uh, where we can place this and work on it. Then we can start cutting it. I can incise it a little at the side. You can do it freely or you can use a ruler. In the best case, one made of metal. Then you can cut along the metal ruler. I don't do it here. Um, my tracks are right underneath and I don't want to cut my tracks accidentally. I choose a quiet place for it and calmly cut it out. Uh, and we meet us again in the next episode when I built up the train station. The principle is there basically exactly the same. The only difference is that I have the advantage here with the train station and this substructure here as surface where I can put it on. We can check if our train station will fit here and if we have to enlarge the train station for court. Otherwise, our little passengers will fall down right away. Simply principle, just unpack, be careful not to mix up the contents of the packs, otherwise you have a mess. Then we can move on with the next building project. Same basic principle, different packaging. In this case, it is the train station by Faller. The parts are just inside as with the other pack. Here's my roof structure. There are many parts here. My base plate is already here as well. I will check one more time in the instruction manual to make sure these are the right parts. But that should be what we need. Here they are. There is also the ramp. We have two of them. I don't know why the instruction manual will tell me why. Um, we can lay out these parts in advance and decide where we want to have our train station. The size should fit there wonderfully. This won't be an issue. I lay it out like this. The train station would be right here. Yes, this gives us enough room for a bus stop. We can have some passengers waiting there right at the front and we have the perfect size for the platform. Uh, we can also build ourselves a platform in a similar size. I will prepare that already. Glue a little and cut out. Uh, you are welcome to join us again in the next episode. And if you have any questions in the meantime, you can ask them in the commentaries. We are happy to answer your questions about building a model railroad. We will see you again in the next episode. Until then, bye.